Hey everybody, welcome back to the greenhouse. I got asked a question a couple days ago by actually a few people and they wanted to know when I started my fungicide and insecticide spraying program, foliar spray. And the answer to that is a bit difficult to answer because it changes each year. It's going to depend on the weather. It's going to have to depend on the weather and you're going to have to decide when you feel the pressure is going to be present soon. So for example, it was hot out this week, very, very hot. Uh, chances are we're gonna get bugs early this year, so I'm anticipating bugs being here in about a week So I'm already spraying my insecticides uh, Likewise with my uh, fungicides. I'm actually gonna spray that here in a little bit. It's been five days since I sprayed my insecticides I'd like to keep them a couple days apart But uh, I'm gonna be spraying Eagle 20 And I'm gonna be mixing that at a rate of a quarter teaspoon per gallon of water. I get good results with that I've done that for a few years so we're gonna mix that up in my backpack sprayer, which actually I made, kind of. I'll show you what I got here for my backpack sprayer. So I got a four, four gallon sprayer, which I bought at Home Depot, it was like 60 bucks. And I bought this little battery here at Tractor and Supply. It's actually for a uh, motorcycle, I guess. Uh, but uh, I also picked this pump up at Tractor and Supply. A battery and pump together probably cost like 40 bucks. So all in all, all, in all this setup cost me about 100 bucks or so. But uh, I hooked her up where instead of pressurizing with this guy, I'm actually pumping with that little pump. So I got this little switch here I can turn on and I never have to pump. It works pretty slick. And uh, it takes me normally about maybe like 15 minutes to empty that four gallon uh, backpack sprayer. But yeah, let's get up and we'll go uh, spray a plant real quick and I'll show you guys how I do it. So you're gonna wanna spray the very tops of the leaves and then of course the undersides of the leaves. And also I like to get the uh, leaf stalk as well and, and the vines if I can, if they're not buried. But uh, you have to get every single leaf even though this is a systematic uh, fungicide, I, I mean, I like to hit every single leaf. When this greenhouse is completely full and I have thousands of leaves in here, when I'm going through and spraying, I'm hitting every leaf. And if I miss one, it drives me nuts. So I'm very anal about spraying every leaf. And I think that's a big part of being successful in growing these pumpkins is just being anal in general and trying to do everything to perfection. So. I'll uh, go ahead and I'll just spray one leaf real quick and show you how I do it. Just do a quick pass. You don't need a, you don't need a, you know, spray it until the point of runoff. Just give her a nice mist to the back, bottom side, and bottom side. So that's one leaf, and I'll go around. I'll do every single leaf just like that. And you can actually see a little bit of burn on these leaves over here. This is from the heat we had. We had a day, well, two, three days in a row where it was high 90s, and inside the greenhouse. Uh, whether or not my thermostat was wrong, but it read me out at 114 degrees in here. That's very hot, and you can see the burn. But and I just leave up here being the worst. But uh, that's not going to hurt anything. I'm not worried about the leaves burning. Uh, they're doing fine now. And the plants lived obviously. So this guy's finally falling over. In 2096. It's taken off go over here I actually finished spraying that plant I did a little bit of burying today burying my vines I figured it was it was a nice hot humid day but the Sun wasn't out so I got out here and buried it's easier to bury your vines when it's hot out they're more flexible flexible but uh, I mean it's hot in here when the Sun's beating on me so if I can find a nice cloudy day that's also hot I'll jump on that anytime to go get out here and bury my vines but I'll spray a few more. Quick little mist. You can hit the bottom sides. Yeah. There's not that, I mean, there's not much to it, but I mean, the biggest thing is to be real anal, get every leaf. Uh, these lights right here, some people may be wondering why I have them set up like this. Basically, uh, secondaries that I feel are a little bit weak. I, uh, I have these lights I'm putting on to help them help them uh, get up through the canopy 
Otherwise, I found in the past that if you get a weak secondary, uh, the plant will grow too fast and I'll shade it out and I'll just end up being stunted. So I've been putting lights down by secondaries I felt were weak just to help them get some uh, photosynthesis, get, help them get some light to get them to grow and stretch out from the canopy. I got the uh, 2095 branch over here. My small one, the backup one, all lit up right now because I'm trying to get its secondaries to take off. But yeah, that's it. All right, guys. Thank you for watching. I appreciate it. Take care. Best of luck, as always.